What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be like my Duramax. Uh, it's going to be, it's actually going to be about my old 2005 GMC Sierra. how I went from 17 inch stock wheels to three sets of wheels and tires and still made money all by just flipping and trading. A little background story is I was 19, 20 years old. I bought my first truck. I was working minimum wage, barely like it's like five cent over minimum wage. And you know, I barely had enough money to do mods after paying bills. Uh, really the only way I could save money was by having side jobs and like hustling, not drugs, but like having side jobs and like, like such as like refereeing or uh, hustling as in like building headlights, like buying used headlights and I would kind of put halo rings and I would sell them. Although I don't think I did a great job, but at the time like nobody really knew how to do that. So people were willing to like pay money for my, mm, I wouldn't say crappy, but like mediocre build and honestly I didn't sell them for that much I sold them for like maybe 300 350 which is not that much compared to like oh my gosh compared to like seven eight hundred dollar headlight builds like the proper ones in this video I'm gonna tell you guys how I hustled and went from 17 inch stock to like black off-road wheels that I wanted just by basically hustling and trading and swapping and everything. I will be making a video how I went from like a gas truck all to a Duramax, like my dream truck, while working in college and how I started YouTube and I guess how I started getting sponsors and all that stuff. That's gonna be my next video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And if you guys really wanna see it, give it a thumbs up as soon as I hit 250, I'll start recording. Let's get back to today's video. I had a 2005 GMC Sierra and I had to take out a loan from the bank to be able to buy that truck and I was actually I actually bought that truck from my uncle. Now the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to like do a aftermarket radio, backup camera, and maybe new wheels. So I took out extra loan and I had about, after putting in the radio and the backup camera, I had like a thousand dollars left. And we were at dealer options, me and my uncle, he, he had a new truck at the time and he wanted to get some stuff done, like maybe a leveling kit or like a, uh, or a bed cover, something like that. We always go to dealer options to buy stuff. And we saw this 2014 GMC Sierra, like it was an all-terrain edition, and it was lifted. And we were just like, did you guys just build this? And they were like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, was it stock before? They were like, yeah. We just built it. So, I'm like, all right, well, where are those wheels? Like, where are the stock wheels? Because clearly it has some fuel wheels now. Uh, where are the stock wheels? Because I've always wanted the all-terrain wheels on my truck. Because I thought they looked amazing. So, I was talking to Wesley from Dealer Options, and she said, oh, yeah, they're in the back. Uh, do you want to buy them? Uh, I can... I can contact the, the owner of this truck. I said, yeah, can you please contact the owner and let me uh, ask them if they want to sell it. So she got back to me a couple days later and the owner wanted to sell those wheels and tires for about $1,500. And we're like, no way, Jose. Uh, although it's a good deal, like I didn't need new wheels, so I didn't want to pay $1,500, which was a fair price, I think, because the tires had about 50% tread left. So. I declined and uh, I, I, I offered him, I said, hey, 800 is all I got. 
I'll give you 800. They said no. A few weeks later, they called me back. They said, we'll take 800. So we've got 2,000, like OEM, all terrain wheels for $800 with tires. So I put that on my truck. It looked, they looked so good. Like, I'm not even being biased because it was my truck. I, I like, so many people thought it looked good because you just don't see that. And there were 20 inch off road wheels, or there were the 20 inch all terrain wheels. And at the time, like, this was like four or five years ago, at the time, 20 inches were like kind of a big deal. Now, now, like, the, now the GMC trucks come with 22 stock. But, 20s back then was a big deal like even 18s were kind of a big deal because all the other trucks had like 17s and 16s it, it's it, it's always a clean look when you put the new style wheels on older vehicles and I've personally never seen anybody put the new style all-terrain wheels on like my body style GMC Sierra and also because my truck was silver silver birch those all-terrain wheels that that were like metallic gray silver ish just complemented each other so well. I thought they looked great. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. So I put those on my truck and and um, some of the mods I did on that truck was like smoke out the parking lights and smoke out the tail lights. That's really all I could do at the time. Didn't have a lot of money and I think I found a set of like aftermarket headlights for $75, $80, and then I put them on my truck, which they were complete junk. I sold them for like 200 after putting halos. I just, I sold them because I didn't like them at all. Like they look cool with the halos, but the visibility was just terrible and they just didn't look good. But hey, somebody was willing to buy them. So I made money off of those headlights, but that's irrelevant to the story. Quick recap, so far I've spent $800 on those all-terrain wheels, but I sold the 17-inch with the tires for $800. So at this point, zero. I've already made my money back. Zero. I basically didn't spend any money for my new setup. And uh, I was just looking, 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 because ultimately I want to put black wheels. Although I love the way the truck looked with the stock, you know, I always wanted black off-road wheels. So I just kept looking and I, I found the guy in Athens and he was selling his truck and I messaged him, I said, hey man, you wanna sell me your wheels and tires? He said, I can't, I'm selling my truck. So I said, all right, fair enough. Um, sorry, sorry to bother you. And then like a month later, just out of the blue, he says, you wanna buy my wheels and tires? And I was like, I thought you were going to sell me your wheels and tires because you're selling your truck. He said, nah, I sold the truck, but I still have wheels and tires. And uh, he wanted like $1,200 for 18-inch, uh, they were called fuel pumps. Yeah, fuel pump. And uh, he had like BFG KO 33s, but they were completely bald. And I told him, I'm not giving you $1,200 for these because it's just not worth it. You know? And he said, all right. And then three weeks later, he messaged me again. He said, hey, I still got them if you want to buy them. I said, no, thank you. I'm not going to give you 1200 bucks." And I was like, hey, however, my brother, he has a 2004 GMC Sierra. John, he actually had the, he actually had a single cab 2004 at the time. And I told the guy, I said, hey, my brother might be interested. Um, ask him. And he asked my brother. And we were, they were talking for like a day or two. And my brother was like, Nah, I don't wanna, I don't want him. So the guy messaged me back. He said, hey, your brother doesn't want him. Do you wanna buy him still? And I told the guy, hey, I already have new wheels. Um, $400 is all I have. Like 400 is all I have. And he, he said no. And then a day later he said, I'll take 400, but you gotta come here and get it. I said, all right, sweet. So that weekend I went to Athens, visited my friends, uh, hung out with them and then picked up the wheels and um, came back so $400 for 18 inch fuel off-road wheels which was I think I thought it was a pretty good deal at the time and then you know I was still rocking my all-terrain 20 inch all-terrain and uh, because the the fuel wheels that I just picked up had ball tires 
I didn't want to put them on my truck. I just kind of kept them in my garage until I had saved up for new tires. And uh, while they were sitting in my garage, I was just like, let me see what's out there. Let me just see what's out there because it's just sitting in my garage. Uh, it's still an asset, but let me see what I can convert it into. So I just posted it on there. A lot of people asked me to like swap, uh, trade for stock wheels. I said, no, thank you. Finally, like a month later, somebody messaged me. They had 18 inch fuel hostage, which were like my favorite wheels at the time still like one of my favorite wheels till this day he said hey I have some fuel hostages I'll trade you I said okay like what's wrong with them and you're just like um nothing's wrong with them I just like what you have better I was like all right I told him I said hey I'll trade you but these tires are completely bald his wheel he had like 33 like continental tires or not even 33 they're like 32 like street tires continental tires and I was just like I don't want to add money, but I don't want to, like, I just think I should let you know that my tires are completely bald. And he said, that's fine. I'm getting new tires anyway. So, met up with him, traded. Nothing was wrong with his wheels. I, like, I inspected everything. Quick recap. At this point, I spent $400. What's up with the lighting? I spent $400 for fuel pumps with bald tires, and then I've converted them to four fuel hostages with street tires with about 50% tread. Remember guys, I still have my 20 inch all-terrain wheels mounted on my truck. Finally like time came and I was just like ready to put those off-road wheels or black wheels on my truck to change the look a little bit. And I didn't want to put the street tires so I went to discount tires and I bought some Cooper ATPs all-terrain tires mainly because they had really good rebate at the time and I think they guaranteed like 50,000 miles and uh, if like if you didn't get 50,000 miles they were gonna give you like uh, like credit for them or something like that and the guy had me completely sold and they looked really good so I got the Cooper STT or not STT uh, Cooper Discover ATPs and I sold the Continental tires that came with the hostages for about 350 so at this point I spent $400 but also spent $1,200 for new tires so I've spent $1,600 so far so far but I sold the Continental tires that came with the fuels for 350 so the difference is around you know $1,300 like $1,250 $1,300 just to make it easy $1,300 and my uncle he had a 2014 GMC Sierra that he just bought and he, he gave me such a hard time. He was like, why are you putting those stupid black wheels on your truck when the 20 inch all trains look good? And I was like, dude, I just want to change the look a little bit. I just want to go with that more of an off-road look with black wheels and more of like all terrain tires. And he was like, all right, well, let me buy, <laughs> let me buy those 20 inch wheels off, your, off of you, uh, from you because they look great. Instead of selling my all terrain wheels to my uncle, I told him, I will trade you, just your wheels for my wheels, they're both 20 inches, he just bought new tires for his truck, so all we needed to do, to do was just swap wheels. So we just we went to dealer options and they swapped the wheels for us and so like I didn't get any money from my uncle but I had his stock 20 inch wheel, like SLT wheels which still looked really good. At this point, I have the tires that came off of the all-terrain wheels from when I, when I bought them. And then I have my uncle's stock wheels. So I sold those tires for $200. And then I sold the wheels for $1,400. Just the wheels. Because because if you want to buy those OEM like wheels from GM, they're about five to six hundred bucks per wheel if you want to get them from like the dealership. And unless you get like replica ones, they're expensive. So that's kind of how I marketed it. I was like, look, these are genuine Owen OEM wheels, no scratches. They're practically brand new. My uncle my uncle only had them for about six weeks. 
or six months, and I was like, I want it for four hundred per wheel, and that would be sixteen hundred dollars. But that was like how I marketed it, and when we were like haggling with prices, I came down and said, Hey, give me fourteen hundred, and I'll, I'll I'll take it. So the guy gave me fourteen hundred dollars. He drove all the way from like Charleston and gave me fourteen hundred dollars for my uncle's twenty inch wheels. So at this point, I'm like evened out, or I've actually made money off of it by just trading. Okay, at this point, I really haven't lost any money. I've actually made a little bit of money by sw swapping and trading and all that stuff. Yeah, so kind of a quick recap. I went from 17s to 20 inch all-terrain, and then I bought fuel pumps for $400, and then I traded for fuel hostages, also 18 inches. And then I bought new tires, like 33s. But yeah, guys, all by just kind of trading and just always looking for like opportunities out there. I mean, it took, what, four or five months to do all that, but it was really fun for me. I mean, I love, I love like kind of haggling prices and I, I, I love like searching for good deals. And for me, it was really fun. I mean, it's not for everybody, you know. Some people would rather just spend the money and not deal with the headache of like looking for deals and dealing with people and traveling and all that stuff. But, you know, I didn't have a lot of options. Like, not that I make a lot of money now and not that I can just drop money on stuff that I want to buy. But I have, I'm at the point where I have a lot more flexibility, but I feel like it was really fun doing that when I was, you know, still in college, because, you know, everybody knows when you're in college, you got books to pay, tuition to pay, it, it's just a lot of money, but then again, after you graduate, you got more bills to pay and more stuff you got to pay. Yeah, so, like, I made that, I made this video because... If you work for it and set your mind to, if you work for it and if you want it badly enough, you'll get it. But yeah, guys, uh, it's not as cool as like going from a paperclip to a house. But I feel I feel like what I did was kind of fun and kind of cool in a way because I really didn't lose any money by going from stock 17-inch wheels to. <coughs> I really didn't lose any money going from stock 17 inch wheels to like my dream uh, wheels or whatever but you know if you guys want to check it out I do have videos from when I had my 1500 gas gasser good old gasser I'll put a picture right here if you guys are wondering like what all I've done to it to that truck first setup I had three and a half inch rough country leveling kit which was terrible because it, it ate up my ball joints, my CV boot was all torn up. It was terrible. Don't ever get three and a half inch leveling kit ever. Don't care if it's rough country, don't care if other companies make them. Don't ever get three and a half inch for a leveling kit. Just get a four inch lift and just decrank it all the way. And I had those with 33 ATPs. And then I got six inch rough country lift. And then I bought uh, BFG KO2s with the same 18 inch, 18 inch fuel hostage and what did I do? I had some light bars, headlights um, that was really it. I didn't do a lot I didn't do a whole lot to it but it was a clean truck and then right before I sold it um, you know I had some cool headlights and uh, what did I have? 20 by 10 fuel couplers with 35 inch uh, Toyo MTs that I actually traded too Oh yeah, so to end the story, right before I sold the truck, you know, I still had my 18 inch fuel hostage, 35 inch uh, BFG KO2s. And one of my friends on, I guess friend on Instagram was like, hey, I really like that look. You wanna trade? I have some 20 by 10 fuel couplers with Toyo MTs with like 40, 50% tread lift. I will give you cash and I will pay to get it swapped out. I was like, all right. So he came down. He gave me, I don't even remember how much he gave me. I think it was like maybe $400. He gave me $400 and we traded because I had like basically full tread. Like my tires were, my tires had like maybe 
5,000 miles on them. I think I rotated them like once, maybe a bit more than that, 6,000 miles. I had like 85 to 90% tread. His MTs had like 40, 50% tread, but still he had more expensive tires and more expensive wheels, but he ended up adding cash on top of his setup because his setup was a little bit older. So I made money from that too. And one tip that I will give you guys is, um, let's say you're like, you're hustling, you're, you're like looking to buy, you, you buy like used wheels to flip them. Make sure you get wheels that'll fit your truck because if all else fails, you can always put them on your truck. So they're just not dead weight in your garage. You know what I mean? Always make sure what you're buying is kind of an asset. But that is it for this video. Um, I guess my next video, I will talk about how I went from owning a gas truck to a Duramax, how I started YouTube and how I started getting like sponsors and all that stuff. So. Give it a thumbs up if you made it this far. I thank you guys so much for sticking through. And let's celebrate by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on that notification because YouTube's been really, really anal. And they're not notifying all of my subscribers that my videos are uploaded. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. Peace.